The winner of this race earns a berth and will probably be one of the top selections in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. And they are just about set for a start. Let's go to Trevor Denman for the call of the Grade 1 Chandelier. Here's Lutine Bell. Comes up. And in. All set. And away they go. Cruising the harbour broke well and then hesitated and is last early. Along the inside, Sunday Sonnet goes for the lead. Angelina Rene is up alongside of that. And here's Myrna Hatter now sprinting up on the outside. Morning coffee caught wide, but right there, they're going very fast early. Conquest Eclipse hugs the rail back in the fifth spot. Morning coffee on the far side, being followed by Maybelline. Charlotte Ray is between horses, only four lengths off the leaders. There goes Majestic Presence, a little wide, but getting closer. In behind that is Danette, who's now six lengths off the leaders. Dad's Princess taken a stronghold and dad's princess pulling her way up on the outside cruising the harbor at the back of the leading group is only six off the leaders and then there's another six back to lutine bell they bunched as they go past the half mile sunday sonnet the leader Manahatta keeps the pressure on morning coffee on the so far side angelina renee right there at the rail they then been followed by Charla Ray. Now here's Conquest Eclipse down at the rail. Conquest Eclipse going well, needs somewhere to run. Five off the leaders. Majestic Presence is on the far side, then Danette. And now Lutine Bell is winding up. Lutine Bell, Maybelline's dropped out last. They're at the top of the lane now, and Sunday Sonnet, the leader. Wall Horse is coming to tackle. On the outside, Angelina Rene. Conquest Eclipse looks for room. Conquest Eclipse now hooks to the outside. They come for home. Angela Rene is the leader. Conquest Eclipse chasing gamely. Danette trying to get involved late, but it's Angela Rene. Angela Rene, too good. Angela Rene wins it impressively. Conquest Eclipse, a very game second. Danette was third, and then Majestic Presence. Angela Rene wins the chandelier. It was a trip that was worth the plane tickets to get here as she takes home the grade one event. Yeah, it's a second time blinker situation, a little bit of trouble at the gate the first time she wore them. And, you know, I think Corey Nakatani felt pretty confident aboard Conquest Eclipse once he got an opening, but it was too late because Angela Renee was three in front of her and was not backing up. She was actually hitting her best stride here at the end of the race. That's what you want to see, obviously. You're a trainer, a lightly raced two-year-old, stretching out for the first time in both your top two, finishing with interest. And your two favorites dominate. It was your second choice, Angela Renee at five to two, beating your two to one favorite, the two Conquest Eclipse. Angela Renee, when she gets a fast dirt track, she's two for three with a second place finish. And that runner up performance was to a really nice Kieran McLaughlin filly in cavorting in the grade two Adirondack. Here's another couple of low angle looks at Angela Renee as she gets the job done here. Todd Pletcher, as he often does, placing her very well, sending her. Here to the West Coast, this Bernardini filly is out of a deputy minister mare in Pilfer. Todd Pletcher sending this one out for the Siena Farm LLC. They're also the breeders. Got a nice little local rider to pick up the back yeah. here, Rafael Bejarano. I was a little surprised that Conquest Eclipse was so far back in the early part of this race. 